Math with Miss B. Math with Miss B. There's a thousand other places that you'd rather be. But you're watching Math with Miss B. Okay, so if you are back, you are ready for the part two of this lesson. So we just learned about polynomials. Like what are they? Adding, subtracting, multiplying. Oh, I, blah, blah, blah. Sorry. We just learned about them, categorizing them, monomials versus polynomials, degrees, terms, all that kind of stuff. Now we're adding and subtracting and evaluating. So when you are adding polynomials, what you're going to go ahead and do is you are going to combine like terms, baby. Um, so basically, I'm going to rearrange this beautiful problem to have all the same exponents next to each other, okay? So I'm gonna rearrange. So I'm gonna have two x cubed and then the x cubed next to each other. I'm gonna have the five x squared and the it doesn't have a matching term, so it's, it's lonely. <laughs> um, the negative x and the seven x, the nine and the four, right? So cubics together, quadratics together, linears together, constants together. Gotta use that proper terminology, you know what I'm saying? Um, anyway. Um, so once I do that, I'm going to combine my like terms. So 2 plus 1 is 3. Um, 5 minus, I mean, yeah, 5 is just alone. Uh, negative x plus 7 is going to give me 6. And then 9 plus 4 is going to give me 13. Bada bing, bada boom. Um, if you would like, this is optional, not mandatory, you can also add them vertically. Whatever feels more comfortable to you, Okay. So what does that mean? So we did it horizontal, so that's what you're gonna see on one side of the screen. And then vertical is if you stack them like um, elementary school, you put and you line them up degrees over degrees, right? So cubes over cubes, squares over squares, linears over linears, and then constants over constants, right? So then you would go ahead and add down. To be honest, I think it's prettier this way. Um, and it just kinda like keeps everything in line. But also to be honest, I usually just do it the horizontal way your choice whatever you feel okay so adding is really easy um subtracting on the other hand it just has a common mistake that you need to distribute the negative then combine like terms okay so i always tell my students that first distribute the negative and go ahead and combine like terms afterwards so now that I've distributed the negative I'm gonna rearrange for the the quadratics to be together the linear term and then the constants right and then I'm gonna combine hello Ooh, look at that animation oh pretty little sparkles that was cute <laughs> sorry uh... <laughs> okay so I want you to try these examples on your own so adding polynomials and go ahead and try that one on your own. Um, you, so that means that you should pause the video. Okay? I know you guys are going to hate me saying that, but go ahead and do it. Um, and then come back and see if you get the answer right. <laughs> All right. Um, hopefully you paused the video and you tried it on your own. So we're going to do it vertically first. I don't care which way you decided to do it. I'm going to do it vertically. Um, so here we go. Hey, cubes first, quadratics second, linears, then constants in that order, okay? If you did it horizontally, you should still get the same answer because you should have rearranged them. Hey, um, subtracting, again, you should go ahead and pause the video. Hold on, let me put the problem up. Pause that video. What's the one thing that you need to remember before subtracting two polynomials. Distribute the negative. Then combine like terms. So pause the video, see if you can do it on your own. Holla at me when you're done. <laughs> okay, hopefully you pause the video. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and distribute that negative to the 15, to the three, and then to the negative two. Remember, when you distribute a negative to a negative, it becomes positive. So now I'm going to go ahead and combine my like terms. 
and that's what I get. So the five X cubed comes to the front, six minus 15, because those are like terms, I get negative nine, and then I get 12 plus two, it's so gonna give me 14. Bada bing, bada boom, baby. Okay, um, evaluating, oh look, we're almost done. How long have we been filming? Let me, let me, let me check here. 20 minutes, that's not bad. Um, so evaluating a polynomial function. When I'm evaluating a polynomial function, basically I'm just plugging in a number. So the cost of manufacturing a pair of sneakers can be approximated by f of x equals 3x cubed minus 18x plus 50, where x is the number of units the pr the product in of the product in high. I can't read. Oh my gosh. Where x is the number of units of the product in hundreds. So evaluate f of zero and f of 200 and describe what the values represent. So f of zero basically means plug in zero for x. f of 200 basically means plug in 200 for x. It's not that bad. So if that's the function, instead of x cubed, it's zero cubed. Instead of the x next to that 18, it's gonna be a zero, right? So PEMDAS, hey, don't forget about your PEMDAS. So you have three times zero because zero cubed is still zero, right? Um, so exponents first, then multiplication, so zero minus zero, and then plus 50, 50. You should, I'm not gonna say it. Um, represents the initial cost before manufacturing any products. So if I am not pumping out any units, so no sneakers, it's already I have $50 out of my pocket just for like materials and stuff, just to get started. So I made no, but I've already spent $50, okay? Um, so that's the initial cost before manufacturing any products. Now, what if I made 200 sneakers, right? So I'm gonna plug in 200, it's raining, I hope y'all can hear me. Um, so I'm making uh, 200 sneakers, so I'm plugging in 200 in for X. So I'm gonna do, 200 cubed, which is a very big number. <laughs> um, and then I'm gonna do my multiplication. So three times that very big number, and then 18 times 200. Uh, the rain just stopped. Florida is so funny. <laughs> um, so then once I do my multiplication, because remember PEMDAS, so exponents first, multiplication, and now we're gonna do addition and subtraction from left to right, so I'm not gonna do negative. 3,600 plus 50 first. No, you do another thing first, okay? And that's gonna be my final answer. Um, so that means, this represents the cost of 20,000 units, okay? 20,000 units of this product. Why did that wait till, anyway. That is the end of this lesson. It's pretty easy. Um, in a nutshell. So I hope you enjoy, I'm, I'm not gonna say enjoy because all of you guys hate math, but hey, you're here. Um, I always say, hey, go back through the video, see if you can get the same answers without my help, pause the video before every example, and then if not, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.